Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's session we will see how to migrate the data S3 bucket data from source bucket to target bucket. It might be within AWS accounts or within a different AWS accounts. Okay. Just target is how we, we need to migrate the large data from the single source bucket to target bucket. Okay. In the real time when we work for the project or any you know organization, we might come we might come the requirement like uh, you know, someone asked the requirement, give the requirement like migrate my large data to from this bucket to another bucket. Okay. There might be different use cases. We, in that case, we need to migrate the data or sync the data. So in that case, in that situation, we can use, you know, data sync service, data sync service to sync the data from source bucket to target bucket. Okay. So it's a so data sync service is very secure way uh, with the, you know, minimum we can configure the jobs for the data sync service very easily with the less efforts. It's very easy to use service. Okay. So let's see how to configure that. So in the AWS account, you can simply search AWS data sync. Okay. You will pop up, you will list service will list out here. Okay. Simply just click on that and you, you will route to this service AWS data sync service. Okay. So you can see the details here. If you, if you can got a chance to you know, explore the, the service, it's a very good service. Basically, you can see the costing here, no upfront cost or no minimum fees. We need to pay just per GB. You can see the, this cost. Okay. Per GB. It will work as, you know, on premise, we can migrate on premise data to AWS other clouds to AWS like GCP or Azure or within a AWS we can configure these jobs to migrate the data okay you can just go through about this page you will get lot, lots of information like benefits features how the data move faster with the secure way okay and how we can reduce the operational cost okay so for now let's get started and create the jobs okay so just expand this service and just come to this task we can simply create task or the or this page okay just location type we need to select like we want to migrate from data from source bucket to target bucket so i will select aws s3 here okay there are lots of options we can just explore smbu file storage or hadoop file storage okay so for now i am just going to configure the job for s3 bucket so where you have source bucket this is the source location configuration basically where you have data or which region basically so you need to select that region from here okay and you need to select the source bucket so i have already created two buckets source bucket and target bucket basically you can simply create the bucket if you visit the aws s3 service so i have just created simply just click on create bucket and you can just create the S3 bucket. Just make just make sure S3 bucket sh name should be unique. If already create someone created this bucket with the name likes, for example, AWS Guruji, so I will not create again. Okay, name should be unique. So you can see I have created two buckets: source bucket and target bucket. In source bucket, I have uploaded some sample file. Okay, but in target bucket, I don't have anything now. You can see. Okay, it's a blank one. So let's configure. So I will choose source bucket. Okay. From this list source bucket, you can here give particular folder. If you want to migrate only particular folder, not the whole bucket, then you can just add that folder name here for now. And just, I want to con migrate all the data. So I will just left as a blank here. You can just generate the IMA roles to you know for the permissions. If you just click on auto generate, it will automatically generate with the appropriate permission. Okay. Just click on next. Now we need to define the target location here. Location we can choose Amazon S3. If you want to <clears throat> migrate data within the same, same region, then you can just select same region here, Mumbai. And if you want to migrate data, the bucket where you created, suppose Singapore, Sydney or central. So you can just select accordingly. Okay. So for now I have created both S3 bucket in the same region in Mumbai. Let's select the target bucket. Okay. 
you can choose the standard storage class same way i don't i want to complete migrate the complete data so i will not uh, add any folder over here okay i i want to just simply go next you can give the task name basically test data sync okay you can select the option verify only data transferred okay it will verify all the you know data there are multiple options you can go through and you know according to use cases you can just select that appropriate options i will go with the maximum bandwidth here use available bandwidth okay if you want to set any particular bandwidth limit then obviously you can just set from here okay now i will it will ask the tra entire transfer mode data transfer configuration basically you want to you know scan data entire source location or any particular folder so i will scan all you know source data for the bucket level then transfer mode if you want to migrate data only the changes happen on the source that that should that will only that should only migrate then you can select this option okay so it will just copy only data metadata that differ between source and destination so whatever the changes detected in the source bucket it will migrate only those changes okay to the target one and if you want to transfer all the data then you can just select to transfer all data okay so for now i am just selecting all data because i want to transfer everything now the option is you can just select according to use cases keep deleted files in that that means keep files in the destination destination bucket even when deleted from the source suppose someone deleted the any objects from the source so if you just click this option check box this option then it will not delete from the target one if you uncheck this it will delete if someone deleted from the source file okay source s3 bucket basically so i will go to the default one now schedule the frequency if you want to migrate the data every hourly daily weekly or something you know any custom so you can choose according to use cases so for now i am just selecting the daily okay you can set the time whatever any time whatever you want to okay if you need logging then you can just you know create the log group and just simply click next so we can <clears throat> we can review configuration whatever we have done you know we can just verify with the source configuration we can just check source bucket name and the role and the path suppose if you configure the particular path folder structure basically and for the destination we can just verify with the target bucket okay so i can just simply create this task the so task has been created if <clears throat> just for testing purpose i will start this ta ta task now because i want to show the demo but if you just leave as it is once you configured it will run whatever we have configured the schedule okay so it will run automatically we don't need to manually trigger the start okay so now i will start with the default one you can see the execution status it's in launching state now okay you can just go to the our target and we can just verify as of now i don't have any objects here and in the source bucket objects is there data is there basically for the demo i have added some sample files here text file and zip file we can see the job status here job status is still in the launching state we can just refresh it will take some time and if you have a larger cases of data large like, like you know gb or terabyte it will take a much time according to size of data okay i don't i don't have too much size of data so it will you know sync within a few seconds only 
okay let's see uh, we can just refresh the window and we can see the task status basically it's a launch and the task status is available okay the last execution you, know, you can see the time stamp time stamp basically also we can see the history from here okay it took four seconds to migrate the data because it's very less size of in the size okay you can see the size or pre speed basically and now let's go to this target s3 bucket and verify the data if it's successfully migrated or not okay let's uh, refresh it you can see we you know within a you know with the minimum efforts we simply configure the jobs to migrate the data from the source bucket to target bucket okay you can verify the data here so this way you can just you know migrate whatever the data you have in a, in the source bucket to the target bucket easily with the minimum efforts okay so i hope you like the video and the you know the configuration way we have done if you have any questions please feel free to reach out through me the comment box okay i will try to answer or clear your doubts okay so let's uh, meet in the let's see in the next session with the more helpful videos thank you